I do have some negative news we have to talk about first. <sighs> I know, I know. So last month, there was an unfortunate incident that transpired backstage at the end of the event. <sighs> we, it, it's actually really hard for me to say because it's pretty traumatic what we saw. Our camera crew did capture a horrible, horrible incident that took place. Um, and it changed the course of tonight's show. It really did. But before we get into that, I would like to call two wrestlers out to the stage because we need to chat about what transpired at the end of last show. Uh -oh. Mr. Johnny Walker uh, and the real Drago, uh, I need you ringside. Oh, man. Uh. Your wife bought them for me, thank you. I'm a little confused with what you're all booing about. I'm out here in my holiday cheer. I got my holiday underwear on, my holiday hat, and the rest of you people are booing me. I was right about Palmetto a year ago, and I'm right now. Everybody from this town, you're all just a bunch of troglodytes. I'm sorry, that's too big of a word for all of you people. You're all just morons. Johnny, is your hat a little tight tonight, sweetie? Where's your Where's your counterpart? Where's Drago? Get on with it, sweetheart. I ain't got all night. Drago, where are you at? Oh, oh, and the illustrious Bill Bird. All right, so gentlemen, gentlemen, please, please, please come down. We're gonna have a little chat, a little holiday conversation. So at the end of the show last month, we, uh, you know what, <sighs> now that we're all here, I think we probably should just see it. Uh, gentlemen, can we please see what transpired backstage at the end of last month? I need your help. Nigga's in trouble right now. Come on, guys, seriously, come on. Come on, go, 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 come on. Nick, wait, 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 Don't know who did this to Mr. Nick Abrams, and his injuries are so severe that it has changed the course of tonight because he will not be able to fight here tonight or possibly ever again. His injuries are so severe that I have now have to launch an investigation to find out who was behind this and depending on who was... Drago, Drago, just, just in case you're paying attention. Depending on who was behind this, there were going to be severe consequences. Severe, I mean, so severe that you won't be able to afford your sparkly pants anymore. Is this what you dragged me out here for, or is there a purpose to this? There is a purpose to this. I'm getting to it, I'm getting into it. Guys, oh, suspense, oh, nice. suspense. So, ladies and gentlemen, tonight, our main event was supposed to be a fatal four-way. Yeah. But you notice there are only two out here, because in addition to the bad news that I received about Nick, I also received a phone call shortly, about an hour ago, that our heavyweight champion, the Chocolate Stud, unfortunately is currently hospitalized with a severe flu and is under heavy medical attention. <laughs> are you telling me that the Chocolate Stud has the Hershey squirts? Unfortunately, we will not be having a fatal four-way this evening for the heavyweight championship. See how broken up I am about this. Yeah, Johnny, um, you might want to hold your big crocodile hey, tears there. Forfeit, give me the bell. No, no, no. Excuse no, me. No forfeit. Excuse me. What makes you think he deserves the belt? What are you even opening up your geriatric mouth for? Why don't you stand over there and be quiet before I smack the dust off your face? All right, so as I have said, UCW is about entertainment 
and it is about competition. So I think that you fans deserve a competition this evening yeah. to end 2023 with a bang. You and him. Oh, I'd be adorable if it was just you and him. No, no. When I found out about Nick, before I found out about chocolate, I made a phone call back into our archives to a gentleman who was there at the start of UCW who would have been thrilled to have seen this fatal four-way, but is even more thrilled to be part of it. I would like to welcome to the stage the only two-time Universal Champion. championship since chocolate can't defend its title it is on the line and our two-time champion will be playing in the ring with you for it this will be a triple threat match johnny yes it'll be a triple threat match so anybody you know what i took care of that british bastard once i'll do it again and as far as this Russian piece of crap goes with his geriatric manager, I'll see you in the ring. All right, boys, get out of here. I got one more surprise for the people in there. He's out of here, out of here. Joey was only part of the surprise torture. Can you please join me in the ring, please? Yeah, he goes down. Uh-oh. He goes down. Come on, big man. Get in the ring. Let's hear it for torture. Did you know about this? I did. Back, backstage is calling you. <laughs> Your <mama's> calling you. <laughs> Marsh, man, Paul's getting the ring. No, he's over there. He's over there. Let's go, Tony. All right, so the time has come to talk about the big black box in the center of the ring. Yeah. So some of you may have noticed, those who have been coming to UCW events, we have undergone an entire rebranding of our logo, of our merchandise, of our entire presentation. So with the end of 2023 afoot, we would like to bring in 2024 with Yay! our very brand new UCW Universal Championship Belts. Torture, if you please. Show it off, big man. It is so shiny. It is so shiny. So, ladies and gentlemen, due to the fact that Chocolate is not here to defend this title, this very pretty and very shiny belt will be on display over by Santa and Mrs. Claus for all of you to take a peek at, take pictures with, and it'll be up for grabs in our final showdown tonight in the triple threat match against Joey Osborne. Johnny Walker, and the real Drago. I think that's enough for today. Let's get this show started.